As you can tell by my outfit, for today we've got a very classic Rafael Gomez video because we're going to be trying very disgusting food. This is American versus British prison food. Did I say British? <laughs> I was trying to say prison and British at the same time but it all got mixed up. And first place I've got receipts for you because I know what half of the comments are going to be saying so I'm going to clear everything out. Prison food works very differently in America and in the UK so I had to find two different ways to find the food for this video and this is how I managed to do it. For America I actually went on Reddit and I found an AMA from someone who's recently been in prison and I messaged them and they sent me a list of the foods that they usually get in jail. So this is probably the three most popular ones according to them. For the British one it's a little bit different because the food in prison in the UK, the people in prison can actually pick what kind of food they're gonna get. So I had this list of all the foods they get in jail and I actually picked three as well so we can compare it to the American one. I hope this clears out any confusion. I actually did my research and this is as accurate as I can possibly be. I never thought I'd say this on my YouTube channel but we're about to eat some prison food here and if you guys support my content the last thing I'm gonna ask you is to give this video a like, subscribe and switch my notifications on. Honestly I can't stress this enough, the people who've got my notifications on are the people who help making this content and like help me being able to afford this food video. So a huge thank you to everyone who do it. And no more talking, let's get into the video now. The first dish that I picked for the UK is actually a meat dish and this is a pasta bake with ham and I think this is like veggies on the side. In terms of look, it doesn't look that bad, like it could definitely look worse. It just looks like like pasta that I'd make at home. When someone is drunk and they get home, this is like the sort of food that they make. Uh, but I, this is offensive, I'm really sorry, I'm really trying to like not say anything wrong in this video. The first thing I'm gonna say about the pasta is that there's barely any ham in it. It's literally just like pasta and tomato sauce. This is like the biggest piece of ham in the whole pasta, which is kind of ridiculous. It smells like ketchup. It doesn't smell like, like tomato pasta that you'd get at a restaurant or even the ones that you make at home with pasta sauce. It does taste like ketchup. I suppose if they're in jail, they're like cutting down on costs and they're actually not using like actual tomato sauce. I'm gonna try the vegetables now. Okay, that's disgusting. <laughs> yeah. If you guys try this, you probably wouldn't be a fan of the vegetables either, unless you like very mushy, overcooked vegetables that don't even taste like vegetables anymore. Honestly guys, keeping it real here, I don't think this pasta was bad. It does taste like ketchup, which is probably gross for a lot of people to imagine, but I mean, I don't mind it too much. Maybe I'm too easy on food, but like, it's not bad. Would I eat this? Yeah. So the meat prison food for the UK was actually not that bad. I actually kind of liked it, so... There's that. So for the fish dish for the UK, we've got some breaded um, fish. I don't know what this is. It's a breaded piece of fish and also some mashed potatoes with it. I'm actually gonna start by trying the mashed potatoes. Not bad at all. Kind of delicious. I haven't tried the American food yet, but the UK food is good so far. I'm gonna finish this and that's how good that is. I'm gonna try the fish now. So I'm going to cut a little bit. Oh, I don't like fish, so I'm probably not going to like this. Ew, is that a piece of hair? Okay, that's gross. It's not mine, it's blonde. Whose hair is that? Now it feels a little bit more like prison food. Great. It's a pretty thin piece of fish, not going to lie. But I mean, you're in prison. Like, I don't think they're even allowed to complain, are they? I'm not the biggest fan of fish, but I'm definitely not pressed by this. Like, this is fine. It tastes kind of good. Like, there's flavor in this. There's no, it doesn't taste like bland or anything. There's like, it tastes like pepper and salt, which is nice. I mean, I don't want to speak too soon, but I genuinely actually believe this. So far, this has been better than the UK school food, and this is prison food. This is probably better than the first meat option. Like, I actually prefer the fish option. I don't even like fish, though. So that's how good this actually is. Here it is. Oh my god, I can't even look at that. It's looking at me. I am not looking forward to curried beans. This is not the traditional form that the baked potato usually is, but I'm fine with it. Now, the curried beans. I mean, I see you there, you're doing your thing, and I wish I didn't have to come and interfere and like touch you or put you in my mouth. This baked potato though, it's dead. I mean, it's been dead for a while. That's not bad at all. 
That's kind of good. This video's got me shook because I thought all the prison food was gonna be disgusting, but this potato tastes good. Like, I want more of it. It's like nice and salty, and it's got a nice flavor, and it tastes like butter. It's a good baked potato. It's got like curry powder on top. It's not even like mixed in. Oh my god. This is like... It's not spicy as in hot, it's just spicy and there's like a lot of spices in it. And then it tastes like the worst baked beans you'll ever have in your entire life. It's like sickly sweet and it's like really bad. Baked potato on the other hand, I'm a big fan of this, actually tastes good like weirdly. That's the British prison food, I hope you guys enjoy this, I look forward to finding out what the American prison food is. Even though I don't live in America, I actually spoke to someone who went to prison in America and they actually sent me like this full like list of things they get and like weird pairings. The person went to prison described this rice to me as like leftover rice. So I think that's what this is. There's also some refried beans. We've got some ham and it's like this, oh my god, I literally can't even touch it. It's like this like raw looking piece of pork. I'm actually excited about this one because it's got pickles. I definitely hear them when they say this is leftover rice. It tastes like leftover rice. It actually does. It tastes like food that's been other food before. Is it bad though? Um, no. <laughs> Weirdly, I kind of like it. I mean, maybe it's because I'm coming to this video with this mindset of like, everything's gonna be terrible. This is definitely not terrible. This definitely has a lot less spices than the one in the UK. It's got a lot less flavor. Maybe it's because of like country regulations or something. Oh my god, this smells like dark food. If it's called beans, why does it not look like beans though? No water? Okay, I'll do this. Okay. I'm cleaning this off my fork because I never want to encounter this flavor in my whole life. Why would you feed people this? I love that. Mm. These American pickles are very sweet. It's very different from like British pickles. It's really weird, but it's true. It's almost like they got sugar in them. I don't think they're allowed to do that. Are they allowed to put sugar in our vegetables? That's a case for the FBI. <coughs> no, 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 no. The refried beans were objectively disgusting. Maybe the ham, some people would like it. For me, it really grosses me out to eat ham for some weird reason. The only kind of ham that I eat is like vegetarian or chicken. So this is like really weird for me. So I'm sorry if like some of you guys like this. I don't want to offend anybody, but it was not my thing. I know the cool opinion now it's like everything gluten free or like with seeds or whatever, but I actually think white bread is probably the best. I mean, I mean, can we get over the health craze and just like, just enjoy food that actually tastes good? Then we got some fish fingers. I feel like the last time I've eaten fish fingers must have been for a video. I never eat fish. It's, I probably should start. To be honest, looking at this, this is actually asking to be eaten like a sandwich. I'm gonna get some of the ketchup. Well, I think I'm doing a very good job with this. One fish finger, two fish fingers, and wait, that'd be way too much. I'm just gonna put two for now. Eating this sandwich and wearing this outfit makes me look like I'm in jail. Like, I feel like I'm in like orange is the new black. I'm like the new character. This is probably the least of a prison problem, but these things get crumbs in it and then it's really hard to shake them out. It's like really difficult. This is kind of everything. I mean, here's the tea. Is it a fancy sandwich? No. Would I eat this at home? Yes, this is something that I actually make at home. This is like kind of like a nice like comfort food weirdly. This is pretty good, like I'm not mad at it. Like even especially because this is prison food, this is not bad. Like this is better than getting those like refried beans or whatever like curried beans we've had. I also feel like without being like too stereotypical, like this was kind of like something that you'd actually get in America because they probably have a lot more people in prison because there's so much more population. So this would probably be like an easier thing to make to like everyone because it's just a sandwich. So I think this one was very realistic and also very good. 
And for the vegetarian option for America, we've actually got some mac and cheese and some sweet corn. Okay, here's the thing about sweet corn. I don't think I would probably pair it with mac and cheese, but both of these things, like individually, I like them. The mac and cheese is probably a little bit drier than if you'd get it in a restaurant, or even if you'd make it at home. It's good, it doesn't have anything else to it. It's literally just corn. So now we're gonna try the mac and cheese um, and see what it tastes like. It's gonna big bite because I'm feeling confident about this one. The cheese sauce is actually really delicious. It's got a lot of flavor, it's very good. That's like the first thing they hit me was the flavor of the sauce. It was like, this is good. But then the pasta is really poorly cooked. It's literally like, it tastes very like doughy. So I would say that's probably undercooked. I think, yeah, that makes sense. I don't know, because the consistency is like overcooked, but then it tastes very doughy. Like it doesn't even taste like good, the pasta. I wouldn't eat this at a restaurant. I probably also wouldn't eat this if I made it at home. I'd be like, no, that was bad. It's like a very mushy like pasta. Like I wish I could show you. I know it doesn't show on camera, but like have my word guys. I'm being completely honest with you guys. This is not very good. It's not a good mac and cheese. And I don't think this is gonna come as a shock because I didn't have to think too much about it. But I'm gonna say that the winner for the American versus British prison food is the UK because I just enjoyed the UK food more. I think there were like one or two things in each dish that I like disliked. But I think the overall there was always something that I really loved. And like I'm I have to be fair in this video, it's like I you guys know that I tried to give you my honest opinion every single time. I tried to be as accurate as I can be. And for me personally, the winner for this video is the UK. So congratulations to England. Um you've got the best prison food. That's a weird title to have. Is this a good thing? I think so. And that is it for this American versus British. I'm not sure if you guys can tell, but I'm a little bit ill and it's just been really difficult to film videos. And also, my computer, my laptop broke. Like I posted a picture on Twitter, if you guys follow me on Twitter, and it's been so stressful. So this is actually the last video that I was able to film with it, because I'm gonna bring it to the Apple store. So I'm basically gonna be without a computer for the next like weeks, and I've got no idea how I'm gonna manage to film videos for you guys, but I promise you, I'm gonna try my hardest to actually carry on and being regular in like two or three videos a week, and I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I'm thinking of ways I could edit these videos without a computer. I'm thinking maybe I could go to the YouTube space in London. Uh, if you guys know any ideas to help me out, like honestly, I am desperate at this moment because I've got so many videos I wanna make, and it's just so difficult because my, like my laptop is my whole life. If any of you guys are like tech experts, like if you've got any support for me, like just let me know if you've got any advice or tips or what can I do with my life. How can I edit these videos without a computer? In my last video, I was thanking you guys for 400,000 subscribers, and I swear, by the time I hit 400,000, I filmed the video and I posted it, you guys got me to 415, which is insane, guys. Thank you so much. I've never felt more support. We are such like a family here of like, just weird people who love weird things, mostly food, and I just, I've got so many new things and exciting things to share with you guys, and I've just, just never look forward to the future more. So thank you to everyone who's been supporting my content. If you enjoyed this video, it means the world to me that you guys give it a like and also subscribe and switch my notifications on. Tick that bell. I hate being annoying and asking people to subscribe, but honestly, I love making this series so much and I know how expensive it is and I know that I would not be able to do it if it wasn't for the people who are subscribed. So I've got no option here but to remind everyone to like subscribe to my channel. I love you guys so much. You guys are like the most supportive, most amazing, like, just chill group of people. You guys support anything I do and I am so grateful. There was a period of time in my channel that every time I post like a different video, like a vlog, people would really hate on it because they only want to see like food related things. But I think at the moment, every time I post something that's not necessarily related to food, you guys give me so much support and you actually let me do the things that I love. And that's so weird because I've never had an audience like that on YouTube before and now I do. And it's just like, you guys are amazing. I love you all so much. I wish I could jump out of the camera right now, go into your bedroom and like hug you and kiss you and um, I love you guys so much and I'll see you on my next video. Bye bye!